I'm on track to, to finishing that as well. It's mm -hmm. just a learning process and I'm just glad that I'm able to learn as much as I can. Okay. Yeah. Oh, any, any challenges is probably the weather. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. apart from that, I think everything is, is on track. Okay, great. Pick the next person and thank you for letting us know. Mm, I probably pick Toyin Hello. Mm -hmm. Toyin. Good morning, Cindy. Good morning. How are you today, Toyin? I'm fine. How are you? I'm fine. Um, so with my technical assignments, it's going so fine so far, but my non-technical, the design thinking, I can't find my group members and the, I think I found one of them on the rocket chat, but it doesn't seem to know that we're in the same group mm. and we are still trying to agree that we're on the same group. Mm -hmm. But I can't find okay. the other person. Uh, so does that mean you've not started yet? Yes. Okay, so what's your plan? Well, I hope he agrees that we're in the same group today so we can have a meet. I already messaged him again this morning. Okay. Uh, yeah, Tiana, you want to say something? Yes. Um, so, um, I wonder why the person would not agree because there's a document and your names are there clearly. So you could just show the person or you could have reached out to us earlier this week so we could try to get in contact with the the other trainees but today is thursday so i don't know what's your plan okay yeah so what's the plan yeah what's your plan well i'm going to work on it on myself if by myself if they don't show up i guess i guess they are working on it individually too Okay, let me just quickly check the documents to see the people you are in um, a group with. Thank you for that, yeah, Tiana. So uh, we discussed this uh, group issue yesterday in our Q&A session, and uh, we agreed, at least those who attended the session uh, know this, that we agreed that if you are matched with people who are non-responsive, there's a level of personal responsibility that you need to take for making sure that you you can either team up with some of your friends, you know, or join another group, perhaps informally, because there's a reason why you marked you the way we did. And then in the last paragraph, every single person is meant to say what the other group members contributed to in the assignment. So for you to yield, you will say that I mostly worked on this assignment by myself. However, I got assistance from X, Y, and Z from other groups. Uh, and A, B, and C, who I was matched with, were largely unresponsive. You will still have to submit the assignment as an individual. But the last paragraph, you have to add how each individual contributed. And if they didn't, you also say that, okay? We need you to remember that this is something that you will face, even when you're working in the world of work. But take personal responsibility of outcomes, that's on you, okay? But please uh, liaise with the Atiana so that she can she can see what's going on there with your group members and see what, what can be done. Okay, Jane? Thank you. Okay, remember you have two days left. So I don't know how you're going to pull it off, but yes. Okay, thank you. And she's typed to your chat who your group members are. I'm sure they can be able to see themselves in the in the chat. So pick someone to go next, Twain. Milky. Mm -hmm. Milky, you're up. Uh, good morning, guys. How are you? How are you doing good. this morning? Mm -hmm. uh, what are we discussing about? The group work? Uh, what are some of the blockers that may influence your ability to meet your assignments that are due tomorrow? Uh, yesterday I was trying to meet my group members. I texted, I texted the boss of them. Mm -hmm. They replied and uh, we were going to meet, but due to the submission, the Wednesday submission, we couldn't do it. Mm -hmm. uh, I did 
I, I, I did a bit of reading on uh, the document that was given to us and uh, what were the challenges. Uh, I, I kind of went through the steps that were provided and I did much of the questions mm -hmm. and prepared a Google doc, a Google uh, uh, survey as well. And mm -hmm. uh, send, send the links to, to get the uh, view of my work and uh, to change what needs to be changed or make uh, uh, make some additions to what I have done. Mm -hmm. um, that's what I did. The, and the surveys are already going on right now and I have received about 12 responses. Mm -hmm. Nice. So I think I'm in track already. You are. That's wonderful. Yeah. That's wonderful to hear. Thank you for sharing. Okay. Okay. No problem. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Big someone to go next. Uh, I pick uh, same. Mm -hmm. Same. I don't know if Sam can hear us, but do you want to pick someone else? I can hear you. Uh, my internet oh. keeps on cutting up. That's why. Okay. Mm -hmm. mm. On the non-technical side, um, we did set up a meet mm -hmm. yesterday afternoon, but uh, my internet was too bad, so I couldn't join them. Mm -hmm. We did have a bit of discussion on Rocket Chat, and we created a Google Doc, where we are going to write out each of our ideas on the document and then work on it together. Mm -hmm. But I haven't moved that much on it because of the interim submission deadline. I plan mm -hmm. on working on it today. Okay. So you'll be able to hand it over by tomorrow? Hopefully, yes. Okay. Pick someone to go next. I pick. Um, Elias. And Dora. You pick who? Okay, thank you. Oh, okay, good. Go on. Uh, yes, Elias. today I will. Okay, yesterday I was uh, trying to complete the interim submission. Uh, I faced a challenge in the Python module, a mail flow. So I had to like install the whole thing and then install all the necessary packages all over again. But I have completed within a time. Mm -hmm. Today I was trying to contact my teammates for the non-technical task. Mm -hmm. And then we are confused in the how the groups are assigned. Are we assigned into groups of three people or are there only three teams, A, B, and C? So like we were asking each other on that, but I didn't understand how the teams are assigned. Okay. Yeah, Tiana, would you like to address that? Yeah. Um, Elias, have you taken a look at the document? Because um, I'm looking at it right now you have three categories, A1, B2, and C3. So one from team A, one from team B, one from team C, that's the group. So you appeared with Nat Nile, Twain, and yourself. So you are in that group. So it's three per group. I don't know if you're confusing this group with the technical group. I'm not too sure. But for the technical um challenge you have separate groups for the non-technical you have another separate group okay okay thank you okay thank you Yatiana. elias would you like to pick someone to go next okay michael michael which michael Okay. I can see. 
or Dorothy. I think I cannot read the whole name on the screen. Dorothy. Okay, no problem. Dorothy, are you here? Yeah, morning. Morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Mm -hmm. Um, <clears throat> yesterday I was working on um task task two of the technical assignment, mm -hmm. and I ran a, into a bit of challenge with the. Um, mm -hmm. building the pipeline, my machine kept hanging and the 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 model, model just kept on running. So, yeah, it got me a bit frustrated. Um, but then I talked with Mallet and uh, she helped me out. And then on the non-technical assignment, we met with my group yesterday and um. We were supposed to meet later, but I think everyone was busy trying to submit the interim submission. So I hope we're going to meet today. So you've not started on the design thinking? We have. Okay. We always, yeah, we have. We're just supposed to keep to discuss. Okay. I'm looking forward to reading those submissions tomorrow. Thank you, Dorothy. Pick someone to go next. Um, Salem. Okay. Hey, Rosalem. Can you hear me? Hi, good morning. Good morning. Hi, good morning, everyone. Mm -hmm. Could you speak a bit louder? Speak a bit louder. Okay, I will have it now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, yeah, uh, yesterday I've been working with uh, the assignment task on task one. Mm -hmm. uh, it was a bit challenging for me to mm -hmm. understand the questions. Mm -hmm. um, besides that, uh, I was also working with the report because I haven't been able to submit a good report uh, since then. Mm -hmm. And I was working just on the report and uh, assignment. Uh, mm -hmm. And I was also confused uh, on the uh, ML flow. Uh, mm -hmm. I mean, of course, I do it last time, but uh, mm -hmm. I couldn't see the uh, necessity of uh, working ML flow um, for the interim section. So mm -hmm. yeah, I'm just thinking to do it for the final report. Mm -hmm. I mean, for the final submission. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and I'm going. Uh, work on the non-technical part today. Uh, question. Uh, question. question. You said, you said, okay. You're confused you're about confused the ML flow. Uh, yeah, uh, okay. I'm confused because uh, I, I just want to represent the uh, model the, on the ML flow, not the data. Uh, have you asked have you on asked Rocket Chat for help? Chat for help? Uh, I could I, I just I couldn't ask because it was uh, too late. It was uh, on um, five I mean eleven p.m. last night. So mm -hmm. I prefer to do it uh, today. Asking to do it today because it's mm -hmm. for me it's yeah. easy to do it. But I, I I was thinking of the content. Mm -hmm. what to okay. The dashboard, okay. ML dashboard. Uh, yeah. So I'll ask them today and do it. You've said you've not you've started you've in the non-technical. Uh, yeah, uh, we were about to meet. I mean, I couldn't meet them yesterday. I mm -hmm. hope they meet Jack and I in uh, Elizabeth. Mm -hmm. Today. Okay, so <coughs> I think I think my concern is, my concern is that work that's supposed to be done in two weeks, done in two weeks. and, and uh, you're, you're trying, trying to pull to it off in two days. days. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, sorry. Okay, go on. Cindy, Cindy. Mm -hmm. uh, we actually met with the group and uh, we've, we've actually made some headway. So the only part that's left is for us to finish the, the solution part. So yeah, Jerusalem was supposed to come in today and uh, help us wrap up. Okay. That's good info. Uh, uh, I hope you get all the help you need. Uh, okay, sure. Uh, pick someone to go next. Uh, I'll 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 go next. Uh, I
go with a visa out. I mean, visa, yeah, visa out salon. Okay, great. Okay, thank you. Good morning, Cindy. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. So this week is a bit um, hectic for me. Uh, a bit challenging, um, like like you said, I was stuck on uh, the board, like dashboard from the first week to now. I'm stuck on dashboard. I need some help on that. I'm going to say it now. Yesterday was, um, I had like, I, I was trying to follow the steps on ML and BBC. I think I did it, but I'm not sure if I did it right. Mm. And I was asking colleagues, but people are busy sometimes, you know, it's like we don't have a time. So um, mm -hmm. I need help on that. And I want to, I want to, um, I want to be clear on those, um, like on the dashboards, MLFO, DVC, and the, the Travis, like testing points. Mm -hmm. Those things are not clear yet for me, and I need help on that. Okay. It's because um, it's gonna build up well, and uh, I don't think it's like it's gonna help asking people. So maybe if we're gonna have tutorial on that, it's gonna be good for me, and I don't know if anyone is struggling on that because the ml flow i did it on a dashboard but um i don't think like i should like i should have an image with the, the visualization on it uh and i don't think i did it right so okay. i need help on that and uh, from non-technical we did meet yesterday with dorsey and the Hagu. so uh, i'm i'm facing some power outage lately and then if anyone from Ethiopia, like mm -hmm. how are you managing this power outage with the rainy season? Mm -hmm. It's like, it's, it's, it's getting me like mm -hmm. behind in everything. Mm -hmm. And if anyone ha having advice uh, how they are dealing with it, please um, mm -hmm. tell me something. That's what <laughs> is going on with me, Cindy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for letting us know, Bezovetalem. That is very important information for us. So, before we discuss the power outage thing for a second, I want to know how many people are struggling with ML flow? Just raise your hand real quick. I can see you have Tom, Nebiu, Nile, Amon, Desmond. I can see Behigu, Jermaine. Okay. I've not had all of you saying it, so I wonder how you guys are dealing with it. But before we go there, I want to know uh, Ethiopians in the room who have been able to somehow navigate the heavy rains and the electricity off. Is there any insider info you could share with Bezel Vitalem on how to navigate it? And looks like we also need an ML flow thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, so, um, Beza, Beza it was very good uh, issue that you raised. And it's very nice, like the way that you presented just the challenge. So definitely, I think our tutors are a little bit overwhelmed maybe and failing a little bit in the other side because we, we they could help, but they probably haven't found out how to help. So you have to contact them as well. Just be aggressive because our all, you know, like we are here to help and we only succeed if you succeed. So that means sometimes definitely great if the others, um, you know, the trainees can help, but sometimes they can't because as we say, maybe that people are busy. In that sense, just reach out to tutors and get an session. It's like, you know, you can write me immediately in a DM or you can write Abu Bakr, Mahalit, uh, Kevin and anyone else and just reach them out when it's technical reach out the technical people and saying like okay I need I need to just talk and um, you know to move out from this the kind of like stuck that I'm here I, I mean so really what you really say now is exactly what we want to hear mm -hmm. I think of all the things said this is exactly the clarity that Absolutely. where you are you kind of informed and that's really great in terms of power outrage in if you have, if you want, some of you, not everyone, I think like you can exchange, there is an office in Ethiopia where you could go, where there is actually a stable power. 
So you could re reach out to me and then I, I will give you numbers where if you are especially in Addis, that you can go whenever you have like, uh, you are in a region where you have an issue, you can just go there and work from there because the, the power is uh, stable there. So that exactly, that clarity is what helps us know, right? If it doesn't come out from you, we don't know. We try to look at the data, you know, who's kind of not submitting whatever, but we don't know who's struggling. And that really is what we are lacking at the moment. No one is texting their issue in Rocket Chat, and therefore there's no way to know. It's like, you know, so normally that's what we had, an advantage. People were more of asking and, and kind of answering in the Rocket Chat, and therefore we would be able to know. So right now, some submissions for the reports are nice, but for example, the screenshots for the entry, not many people submitted. Um, and of course, we can follow up, but the number of people who we can follow up are very limited. Yeah. So that means we really need that, and that's really great. So just DM uh, the tutors, but in particular, just write it in the public channel. I think I know that you guys sometimes DM each other, but please put it out, because the knowledge you'll gain when multiple views are given on the same question is very different from the knowledge that you get from one person. So that's why we always encourage the public uh, conversations. And, and they're also weighted a lot. So if somebody who wrote more on the public channels, when during like the community contribution, we give it more weight than if you, have, if you are having it in the DM only. So it, because it, it helps, you know, more people will give their own insights and more views of the same question will be reflected that enriches the understanding overall. So I think that's great. Just keep up that kind of, like I'm, I'm kind of encouraging everyone to be just that direct and, and presenting their challenge um, and what they're stuck about. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Beza. Thank you, Ababa. Thank you. Thank you so much uh, for that, Yababel. Absolutely, I couldn't have said it any better. Uh, the realness is what we're looking for because then it allows us to get more perspective on the kind of challenges you're going through. Uh, we can have around two to three more people who wants to go next? Just raise your hand and tell us what are some of the blockers that are affecting your ability to submit your assignments tomorrow? Or what do you need help with? And two or three hands to go up. Or who wants to give us an update about where they are at? Okay. Okay, so uh, this evening we will have our town hall, okay? And I want to hand over to Yatiana to tell us about the guests we'll be having this evening at 3 p.m. UTC and about the plans that she has for the Google Meet Chit Chat. Yati, would you like to take us through tonight's, uh, this afternoon's uh town hall in the yeah hi everyone so um yeah this evening our town hall session we're going to have rawia she was um a trainee from batch one and um she's just going to have a chat with us telling us about her time at um, 10 academy you know the skills that she picked up jobs after 10 academy you know just the whole thing getting to know someone who has been through this process how she was able to balance submitting the work having um, a life you know just the whole thing of getting to know someone who has gone through what you're experiencing right now so she'll be on at 3 p.m and i hope that you'll be there i hope that you'll just try to have a little q and a with her you know it's not always good for someone to come and then the person just goes on and on and on and we have little to no questions okay so let's all just try to be as curious positively curious as possible okay and um we are planning cindy and i actually this is all from cindy by the way thank you cindy so we are planning on having um a google meet tomorrow just a cheat 
chat session you know i just shared the idea yesterday on rocket chat and um the very few the very limited people who always stick with us on rocket chat they were like yeah that sounds like a good idea so it's just something that should be relaxed you know chilled you know just a google meet so we get to just talk and discuss but then it's going to be hosted by a trainee so it's just basically all of us hanging out you know just having a relaxed moment because we know that yes the entire week every week it's just a lot of work for us but then we really need to relax okay so we'll post the link for the google meet tomorrow friday and um we'll talk about the time but definitely it's going to be in the evening not the 12 p.m utc it's going to be in the evening but we are still going to have our chit chat at 12 okay today and tomorrow and yeah on friday milky so yeah so that's tomorrow the google meet chit chat it's going to happen tomorrow but then our usual oh my goodness so our usual chit chat session at 12 p.m utc it still stands but we are just adding this so that <laughs> Oh my goodness, yeah, probably we might have some chickens because, yeah, they're too noisy. But anyway, yeah, so we just really want you guys to just chill, have fun. No, Jackinda, I haven't killed, I don't kill them, I just, they're like pets to me. So we're just going to have fun, you know, and just chill and hang out. So see you guys today at 12. See you guys tomorrow at 12 for the chit chat session on Rocket Chat and then for the Google Meet. And um, yeah, one other thing I realized, I've spoken to some trainees. You guys just feel like it's a bit embarrassing now at week three that you should just go on Rocket Chat and ask questions. There's no shame in asking. Trust me, honestly. The moment you ask, the chances of you going in the wrong direction it drastically reduces because you're asking okay so just as um yaba bell has said be aggressive just ask if you're having problem with the ml flu just send it on the rocket chat someone might be able to help you even if it's not another trainee um a tutor might see it he or she might be able to help. And then if you send it, it gives confidence to another person that, you know what, this is something I'm struggling with. I'm going to follow this thread. You know, there might be something I am lacking and then they are going to supply the answer and it's also going to equally help me, okay? So Rocket Chat is not just for chit chat and just fun and stuff, but if you have anything, whether it's on the technical side, whether it's the non-technical, you know, people have been asking about their um, team members, just go there and type the name of the people. Hi, how are you? You know, we need to have a Google Meet. You know, we need to talk about this. There's no shame in that. We're not going to penalize anyone. We just need to know that you guys are working together. We need to know that if you have any problem with anything, you feel free enough, you feel bold enough to just go on a rocket chat and just say, hi, I have this problem. I need help. Anyone who is going to help me, even if you think it's late at night, we're going to wake up in the morning first thing and we're going to see it and our brains will be fresh enough to just give you the best answers, okay? So just relax. There's no shame. We don't expect you guys to be the best. There really is no shame in asking, okay? There really is no shame in asking. Just go ahead and just like, let's all just have a conversation, okay? Um, Cindy, I think I've talked too much. So yeah, over to you. <laughs> Thank you so much, yeah, Tiana, and thank you for giving that very important overview. So, guys, the aim with tomorrow is just a very chill session. We won't talk about any work things, okay? It's just about fun conversation. One of you will host it. Do we know who? No. If you want to host the session, this is where, you know, if you are the mouthy, noisy person in a group, this is where you need to showcase your talent, okay? Just someone to just... It's just going to be a chill. You can have your tea, you can have your water or, you know, something stronger with you. Just chill and hang out. And it's even much better if you guys put on your videos on in the session because then we need to be able to just let our hairs down and relax, okay? So that is wonderful. I think we have exhausted everything that I wanted us to cover today's stand-up session. 
Uh, I don't know if Yababel, you have anything you'd like to add before we call it a session? Yes, I mean, I think I think it's the same thing again and again. What is bothering me is a lot more. Um, I think the submissions are okay. Uh, some do well, um, but that doesn't really. So the one part that I know is that the knowledge that you know will disappear, right? Mm -hmm. So the the knowledge that will not disappear is it, the one that is associated with an event. Mm -hmm. So. It isn't about like I think I, I try to make it always clear that it isn't the knowledge we are we think we can give you in three months. The thing that we can give you is the mindset, and the mindset is basically what we think the best we have over every other system that is out there. And that what is that mindset? It is this ability to just act on time and quickly and when you need it. And not not kind of giving to any kind of um, you know delay. So when you need it, you have you will just do anything to have it, and you just don't try to be like kind of you know stay with it and kind of hoping that it will it will get resolved. And knowing, estimating the amount of work that you need to do in a week, and kind of breaking it down. If you don't do it now, this one it will it will be delayed to later. And then that means whatever you arrange it for later will be delayed to another you know, time, which means you will not finish, or if you finish, it will not be the same quality. Mm -hmm. And it's that mindset that I feel we are lacking. Now, even if I am kind of happy that you're doing well, but I don't think the mindset, however you are good, if the mindset is not good, then at work you will struggle. Because here you basically, we don't tell you, we, we're not, you know, you're not, we, we, you are many, where few will probably not in front of your face just tell you like you're doing wrong. But at work, it's that mindset would just, actually your boss would tell you, okay, you know, it's like your mind, it's actually they, they give you comments more about your mindset because you're, you know, you can do the task, but if you do the task either with a lower quality or with a kind of attitude or without understanding, you know, you're basically not producing, you're not giving value. So. I think just don't take the knowledge, the understanding only as the main thing that you get out of it. It's the mindset that you actually, whenever you are challenged, you do it on time and you don't delay it. And you have that urge and aggressiveness to know and you know, to do it at that time, at, at the time you want it. And that mindset would carry you a lot, much, you know, a lot longer than the knowledge that you would acquire. So I urge you to really try to start writing and we you know as i said we we reward it for the very same reason like we give 20 points for a community and mostly for the public channels because we think that's what would set the mindset so i urge you to really try to be responsive and kind of ask questions such that make it the community much more lively when the community is lively you want to come back more often and then therefore then overall you that, that becomes an event which then whatever you do will be related to that event, then you will not forget it. But if there's no event, you know, like if I ask you, what did you do in your third year university on in February 25? You won't remember because basically just like the knowledge, it gets dormant. But if it has associated to an event, maybe to the lecture doing something or to, a, to some kind of fun that you have, then the knowledge sticks. So that's what we understood or what we think is we're doing well. And if that community is not very lively, then we're missing out. So yeah, and it's, not, it's not a complaint because you're submitting and you're doing well. And I want to congratulate you for that. But it's also we're not also hitting the target that we think uh, we should, given the kind of caliber that we see. So yeah, just think, think like, try it. Make the community lively. And that's one uh, message that I want to just say. And but oh, other than that, everything is good. So keep up the good work. Thanks. Thank you so much, Dr. Yababel. Okay, guys, that's a session for today. We're going to call it a close and we'll see you on Rocket Chat. As you've agreed, no forgetting to ask questions. There's nothing embarrassing about it.